I'm back playing Shadow of the Avatar pre-alpha release 10 again. Uh, my brother has logged on for the first time this weekend and he's uh, just now completing his Grand Tour. He's the uh, female character up there. Uh, the Grand Tour to, to gain the hat, which I'm already wearing. There is his hat goes. Uh, so we thought since since we need to end up at Versus Pass for him to get his hat anyway, we'd uh, team up and try and do a bit of combat. At the time when this video was taken, it was just less than two hours before the, uh, the servers would go down. Following, following this um, for this week's release week. Now, the first thing we notice is that putting a hat on uh, removes your hair, which is quite a uh, severe look in a female character. My character is bored to start with, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so I did another video about getting my own hat. The, the Grand Tours are going to be features of the uh, all the feature releases uh, to basically encourage players to explore the new areas. Uh, you didn't really have to do much exploring to get the hat. I'd, I'd come here earlier in the day. I'd, run up the pass, seen some nasty dark elves, and uh, run back again, and escaped. But yes, so, we thought we'd, we thought we'd try some combat together, we might stand a chance. Uh, I'm currently failing to attack a spider, a giant spider, no less, go on, take a swing. I think the spider's going to be dead before I even make a swing at anything. I do get the next one, there we go. I'll do some damage to this spider, that's better. So, Versus Pass is a uh, new area in uh, Shroud of the Avatar release, pre alpha release 10. It's um, the first area to have weather effects, the snow you're seeing. I'm assuming that. Once they've affected the weather effects, they'll be rolling them out to uh, other areas, as well as other new areas. Um, it's supposed to be, you know, a dangerous pass to uh, to go through. Have lots of combat in it. Um, and there are elves all over the place. I'm just, uh, yeah, just trying to look to have a look. Um, I, that's just we did do this earlier, I did record it, except I hadn't hooked my mic up, so you couldn't hear me um, couldn't hear me talking, although because my brother was uh, on mumble, you could hear him responding. Um, I did consider briefly going through and trying to uh, dub in my own voice, saying something sensible in all the gaps, but that sounded like an awful lot of work, so I thought what I'd do is just, um, just record a whole voiceover. Over, over the whole thing. Um, having tried that once already, it didn't it didn't really go so well because I forgot to record the microphone as well. I'm just turning the background music down a bit. I've basically just recorded a loop of the music off the uh, off the title screen just to uh, you know while I'm not saying anything because I don't think I could talk for another 30 minutes about this without a break. And you probably won't want to listen to me anyway. Now, up there is where the Dark Elf stationed. But if you actually go up there, when we got up there we found there was two guys standing there next to the two the dead bodies. They'd already dealt with the Dark Elves. No need to worry about them then. So, we're going to head on up the pass. Uh, you may not have seen my, my last video. Uh, but the combat is uh, is based around this deck building concept, and so uh, my brother hasn't. I just accept the defaults and do, you know, acts as a soldier. He likes to do he likes to do uh, more advanced stuff with magic, which is probably more effective in the long run. Uh, we're both attacking the same elf now. I think I'm nearly dead. Am I going to die? Yes, I am. Did I? 
Oh, I managed to target myself and give a health potion, or did I target the elf? That was one of my common failings, was I kept um, applying health potions to the thing I was fighting rather than to myself. Um, yes, we both die. I'm sure we'll get over it. So yes, there will be some uh, pauses in this video as uh, my brother tries to rebuild his deck from last time. If you want to know about deck building, there's an excellent video by the Mad Hermit where he discusses uh, building decks and the pros and cons and also how to set it up in a, you know, a more traditional style. The one thing I did notice about the, the enemies here in the pass is that if you do damage to them, they run away from you and, and try and heal before coming back. It's not going to make a lot of difference this time because we're both lying, lying dead on the ground. Clutching each other, almost. Alright then, we're back up. Might as well loot this body. And now I'm going to loot a body and fight an elf fighter at the same time. Uh, yes, so maybe I shouldn't be bothering looting the body, but I did. And we did manage to uh, dispatch that one elf with the combination of ranged attacks. Still not that good at steering. Let's attack the archer. Ooh, fireballs. So we're getting there a bit with the decks, I think. Um, that will not be the first time we both die in this video. Let me tell you that now. It's unlikely you're going to be getting strategy tips from us. Okay, we've defeated them. We've only died once, which is nice. Let's get back to losing. Yeah, some more cash. A couple of swords. So this one is... Oh. Well, that does less damage than my current sword, which is one of those. It has a higher chance of a critical hit. I might as well have a spare. The inventory system does have a list mode, as well as this sort of graphical everything in a bag mode. Uh, I've not, I don't know how to get to it. I'm sure it's not complicated. I just haven't done it yet. Right, I'm going to equip this. Uh, get the right thing. I'm going to equip this scim scimitar with a greater hand chance of a critical hit. And uh, so, while I've been uh, funny around doing all that. My brother, for some reason, has been undressing. <laughs> so, we, we have a, a naked Dakota. Well, not quite naked. Got pants on still. Take the pants off, there we go. No pants. In your underwear, in a snowy pass. A bit cold, I would have thought. But never mind. Still practicing getting the getting the deck sorted out. Now he, he did find that wearing the leather armor, which is the default, does block certain spells. So rather than waste time messing around working out what you could be wearing, he just took, took the clothes off. It's um, like I said, we started we started playing this. Ooh, getting attacked by a mage. We started playing this around two o'clock. At that time. I think the server was due to go around at 4, so we didn't have much time left. We would have thought it was worth logging on to get the, uh, get the Cavalier's hat. Hey, defeated the mage. Right, Archer next. Let's go. Come here, you. This time we're actually going to succeed in doing in some enemies without dying. There we go. Yes, the last gasp. So as I said, this is the third time I tried to make the video. Oh, we're getting a bow this time. I've uh, 
I keep for some reason messing up the microphone recording. I don't know how I'm managing to do it. I've successfully recorded my microphone many times in the past. Although considering I was using Mumble with the uh, press to talk setting on to try and have it not interfere with uh, with, with the uh, recording of the audio, and I therefore said the same thing several times, except you know the second time with with the button press, the rubber could hear it. It's probably best that you don't hear the uh, what we said at the time. That doesn't mean you're missing the combat sounds and that sort of thing, but yeah, just imagine. Or make your own or something. That's another archer bites the dust. I don't know whether he slid down the hill there because of the slope. I don't know if the physics are that advanced or whether it's just a, a weird effect. I have some more money. Thank you. Putting there my spider eye. And it looks like those uh, Dark Elder spawn back where we've respawned back where we've come from. But there'll be a pause now while my brother once again fills with his deck. And the deck, if you're not aware, the deck is that thing along the bottom. Um, the amount of slots you can have depends on you know what you can put in them and how much you're you're going to how many points you're going to assign to focus in the uh, in your character sheet. Uh, it comes with this default set, which is fine for basically people with swords, I think. You do need to focus on yourself to apply the health potions to yourself, which is the thing I keep messing up, as I said. There we go, it regenerates some health. I think I do keep applying health potions to my enemies, which isn't a good plan in the long run, I wouldn't say. So, uh, I didn't get to play a lot of Shadow of the Avatar this weekend, because I've had quite a, quite a busy time. On Thursday night I went to the premiere of From Bedrooms to Billions, which is a, a, a documentary about the, uh, the UK games industry, starting off in the uh, late 70s and early 80s. That was excellent. And then on uh, Friday I was at EGX with my mates. Um, oh, I think my brother's been resting in order to um, gain focus or something. That's EGX. Um, it's quite good fun. I uh, played some Borderlands um, prequel and, and various other smaller games. I've got some video footage that I might try to uh, edit together into a, a recap video of some kind later in the week. I'm trying to hope to sort of cut, cut game footage in with um, a video of, of stuff we actually did. It might be beyond my cap capabilities at this point. Uh, yes, anyway. And then, of course, there was the NFL game. So we went to Regent Street on uh, Saturday morning to... Well, Saturday afternoon, I suppose, technically. It felt like morning. I didn't get up till after 10. Uh, we didn't see any cheerleaders. We did see some Raiders players over a fence. <laughs> uh, tweeting on their phones or something. Or perhaps they were Snapchatting. I don't know. And then uh, yesterday we went to the NFL game. So I, I basically logged on long enough on uh, on Saturday night and Sunday to uh, get my Cavaliers hat and build a couple of videos. There have been some graphical glitches in, in release 10. Um, there's an issue where the screen just seems to go black at certain points or just stop responding. Apparently the workaround for that is to hit F1 to focus on yourself while we're attacking. We didn't spot there was two of them, we only spotted there was one of them, but never mind. Take out one at a time, that's the strategy. Yeah, if you hit F1, that seems to reset the display. Alright, gonna find the other one, another Alpha Archer. Here he is. Have you. And, uh,. I've been to uh, Ardress a few times for various purposes. And actually, the videos are uploaded, so you might have seen them. And I found the, there the game has been quite uh, choppy and unresponsive. I don't know whether that's just the amount of stuff that's that's around in Ardress, but it seems fine in all the other places. And the uh, the scene loading does seem faster. 
in this place. It was a. Uh, There was, there was one release, what was it? R8? Well actually I, I couldn't get back on the server at one point because there, there was just too much stuff at the location where I'd, where I'd uh, disconnected. And my graphics card wasn't powerful enough, powerful enough to load it all up. Uh, I think they fixed that at the last release. And then this release, R10 is the... Um, every every three months is it, or every four months they, they have a release which, which focuses on stability improvements rather than new features. There is still some new stuff in the pass. The pass with its weather effects is one of them. Um, and the other things that were on the Grand Tour. Right. Well, we're still sorting his deck out, I think. We're going to proceed up and have a go at these characters here. Elf Archer. I think the soldier's ignoring me for now. Oh no, the soldier spotted me. And it's looking extremely like I'm going to die again. Especially because I forgot to target myself. Oh no, I did target myself. I'm back. Now target the elf again. Ooh, nice flame, flame something or other from a brother there in the background. Oh, he's dead. Let's go. You. Let's get the fight. Yeah, see, the fighters run away a lot if they're damaged. Seems to me a fighter wouldn't really do that in real life. So the fighter fights, doesn't it? Maybe that's strategy, though. Anyway, oh, the other archers notice we're around. They don't seem really aware for elves, this lot. Alright, let's get that archer. Soldier isn't dead yet. Why is the soldier not dead? That was probably a mistake in our strategy. Not finishing off the soldier once we got him down so low. Let's see how this goes though. Yeah, that's the archer dealt with. Yeah, remember to target myself before doing the healing. Right, let's deal with this fighter. Come here, you. Come here. Come here. Oh no, he's getting great finished off with magic before I can hit him. He's too much running away from me. There we go. We defeated the three elves. I'll loot the body once again. I've already got one of those swords. Scimitars, whatever you want to call them. Lead him as well. Let's go and have another look. What's up ahead? Yeah, some more bad guys. I can't remember why I left my inventory open. I probably shouldn't have. I can't actually see what my stats are at the minute. All right then, let's have a go at these bad guys. Elf fighter. Now, I don't think I'm doing a lot of damage, and that's possibly because I'm not standing in the right place. I don't know if that actually matters. One of them runs away, because he's getting damaged, and I'm dead. And then they both gang up on my brother. And I can tell you he wouldn't last very long either. 21 points of critical damage. 19 points of damage. 17 points of damage. I think one of these fighters is a bit of a hard ass. Anyway, we had some trouble with these. And then they come and stood near me. I presume there is a way to tell if what sort of level the opponents are. I didn't, I didn't. At some point, you know, I'm going to go and read the instructions for this game so I can do it better. Maybe not in time for next time. 
Um, can we rest life? Immediately I'm getting attacked. Let's go and attack him though. Let's get the sword out. Let's go. Let's get the chat window out of the way. I'm getting double teamed again by the elf fighters. The elf fighters run away from me. Where's he gone? What's he doing over there? See what I mean? They run away. It's quite annoying. So uh, melee. I mean, I'm sure it's a reasonable strategy. But really? Ugh, dead again. Alright then. So this time... Remember that we discussed it. So shall we just run away? Or shall we try a different strategy than just running in and attacking them both? tell you, yes, we will try a different strategy. There'll be some delay while we both respawn. Ten seconds. <coughs> oh, yeah, I'll come back again. First thing to do, let's get away from them both so they don't just start attacking me immediately. At a safe distance? Probably. Yep, we look safe. <coughs> Alright. Robert will come over here and join me. And our new strategy will be to try and annoy one of them to get him to attack us by himself so we can gang up on him. So we'll get that one closest to us. Here he comes. <coughs> Alright, let's take a swipe at him. Where's he gone? Alright, yes, yeah, so he's attacking my brother because he caused the aggro. So I'm just going to get over there and uh, go on, take a swing. I need to get closer. There we go. And we're making a mess of him this time. It's far more effective. That's you dealt with. Right. Uh, I'm going to start on the other one. A bit of a lag there. No, strange effects. So he comes with that my brother. And I'm gonna start attacking him. So you see the deck at the bottom there. The cards regenerate. Because I've got all the basic cards. That's all well within my capabilities. I just get the full sets all the time and they regenerate. You can uh this you know, go for a more dangerous set of cards, but the risk at that point is that you get um, duds that pop up, which don't give you anything. Oh, and it's defeated with long range magic again. Let's loot you then. Even more gold. So that was, that was indeed the most challenging battle we faced. He died two times. Uh, my brother's taking his clothes off again. Some of the spells were, were blocked. You can see some of mine are blocked actually because I should be wearing heavy armour before I can, uh, I can do some of the spells. So he's once again fiddling around with his deck. Just um, you know, we'll just have a look around. A wintry mountain pass with a semi-naked woman in it. Uh, see some scenery. Have 
I'm not sure whether the pass is actually intended to lead anywhere, or whether it's, you know, just a location where you can go and have some combat. Um, hey, there's a look. A wand, a shield, and underwear. Yeah, so whether you'll have to pass through the pass to get to particular areas of the game, or whether it's just a, a place you visit when you want to uh, fight Dark Elves. I'm not sure. Get some healing. Very illuminating. <laughs> Brother just has a bit of prancing through the snow in his underwear. So, now that he feels like he's finally got his deck sorted out, that we've been playing for uh, 25 minutes, I think we'll be discussing and decide we'll, we'll go and find someone else to kill. So we head back the way we came, because we think the stuff behind us respawns as we, uh, as we were going. Oh, except that the server was going down in just over an hour anyway, so we had no real need to get back anywhere afterwards. We're basically going to play around a bit and then, then leave right there some more bad guys. Let's try the same strategy of aggroing one of them. Come on. Come on. I'm not sure whether he just couldn't run up the hill. But he just didn't seem to want to come and get us. We're not really doing a lot of damage at range. So, you know, in the end, a bit more damage. I think maybe we'll take him out eventually. But I'll get bored of all this. All this standing at danger. No, no, I'm just going to go attack him. Come here, you. Because when I start attacking him, the archers take note. They start firing arrows at me, which doesn't do me any good. Uh, strange bit of lag there again. Fighter is nearly for it though. Uh, get the fighters for it. Unfortunately, the archers get me. However, in, uh, you know, 40 seconds time, I'm going to respawn right behind that archer. Or oh, respawn, revive, I suppose is the phrase, isn't it? And I'll have a hack away at him for a bit. Seconds. Five seconds. I'm back. Here you. Right. Attack. One blades. Rend. Yeah, that'll teach you for killing me. I don't know why he died. He seemed to die and then he came back to life. Never mind. Let's go and do the other archer. I'm making short work of these archers now. It seems to remove the targeting as the thing dies, but then if it doesn't die, it doesn't seem to always die when it's removed the targeting. It's a bit weird. Anyway. Getting dark now. Got some more money. How much money have I got? I think I might have a lot of money. Sheet. I've got 1,298 gold. Alright. So, 
came back to the, I don't know, what was it, a fort? A town? I don't know. We came from earlier, there's some more bad guys around. Once again we'll try the drawing them out strategy. Yeah, no, it's a ranged, ranged fighter. There's another archer over there by the fence that uh, they're attacking us. Dead. Ah, heal in the nick of time. Let's get you. Come here. Oh, that'll do you. You're on fire now. Come on, there we go. See again. They seem to be dead and then they got back up. Now we can concentrate on this archer. Another bunch of uh, adventurers turned up. So another archer appears from the back. I'm not sure what they were looking for, but they were looking for something. There's one. I presume there's something, there's supposed to be an item you can find here. Yeah, good man. Him with his big sword. It is a big sword, isn't it? And the guy comes out and checks out the semi-naked lady. Alright, two gold. Oh, I struggle to figure out how to open the chat window. Just press enter. It'll work just fine. There we go. Oh, I'm talking... Group chat, there we go, local chat. I go for some unnecessary explaining. They're saying nothing. They're looking for something, apparently. Oh well. So we've basically had enough at this point. And we're, uh, we're just discussing where to go. Uh, right, so let's go over there by the fire. Keep warm, you know, since you're going to wear no clothes. really going to be the end of the uh, release 10 videos. I think definitely it's improving. Performance is better this time. Still quite a few bugs. It is pre-alpha. Yep. Yeah. Kills a rabbit for no good reason. I don't know where you can eat the rabbits. you think you can eat the rabbits? Anyway. So that'll be it for, for this release for me for videos I think. And I'm going to exit the game.